hello guys welcome to sa academy so today in this lecture i'll be talking about point of contra flexure so point of contra flexure you must be aware in your structural analysis where you have calculated the point of contra flexure during solving the bending moment and shear force diagram so contra flexure exactly is comprised of two two words that is contra and flexure contra is the meaning of contra is opposite and flexure meaning is bending so what is the benefit what is the benefit we are getting of this contra flexure how it is advantageous to a structural engineer uh, as a uh, as a tool for designing so contra contra flexure we'll get into the d i'll just show you the bending moment diagram so this this beam is uh, this this is a beam where your bending moment at point c is 32.855 and point d is minus 30 that means to, to cross this beam from plus 32.855 to minus 30 you have to you have to cross the zero line so to to transfer from the sign moment moment uh, tra sign from positive to negative you have to cross the zero line so that the point at which which the z bending moment is zero that point is known as point of contra flexure and the distance from the the distance of a point of contra flexure from this end e uh, or end a can be calculated using the bending moment diagram so this is a, a typical example of point of contra flexure so we will just uh, read what exactly is a point of contra flexure so in a bending beam a point is known as a point of contra flexure if it is a location at which there is no bending moment and where bending moment changes its sign so at the point zero your bending moment from positive changes to negative that is the left of zero bending moment is positive and the right of zero the bending moment is negative so you can see left of p the bending moment this the bending moment is positive and the right of p the bending moment is negative that means p is the point where your bending moment sign changes it is the it is the point at which the bending moment curve intersects with the zero line in other words where the bending moment changes its sign from negative to positive or vice versa so this as this this statement is also supporting the above statement so now we will, what what is the benefit of this point of contra flexure how we can you take the advantage of point of contra flexure that i'll be explaining so flexural reinforcement may be reduced at the point that means if your bending moment is zero or near to zero that means you you don't require a bend, bending reinforcement but but you have to provide a flexural reinforcement because the the, the coincidence of the point of contra flexure may vary and you have to provide a minimum reinforcement as per the codal provisions so in rcc beam you can take the advantage of point of contra flexure like you can optimize the reinforcement at that point that, that means your reinforcement can be optimized but you cannot opti omit the reinforcement at that point assuming that there is no bending moment you you cannot just omit to to provide reinforcement you have to provide minimum reinforcement at that point or you have to optimize the reinforcement at that point the best advantage of point of contra flexure we can get in the, in the bridges so the the truss height can be reduced where the where you have a point of contra flexure because the bending moment is zero so that means if at, at the point of contra flexure the the height of the truss you can optimize and you can optimize your design you can reduce the height of the truss and you can optimize the design so this was regarding the point of contra flexure you can suggest a few short topics so we will try to make the videos for for short topics like we will try to keep the length of the video as two, 4 to 5 meter minutes so thank you have a nice day and please do subscribe to our channel and keep sharing our videos thank you